please don't be offended if I have just linked you through to this video slash document. If you have asked me for help, these are the initial troubleshooting steps that I've had to go through multiple times via email and instant messaging with people rather than just writing them out again and again and again. These are the steps that you should go through first of all to try and fix the issues that you are having with blurry maps or maps that won't open on your phones. Please watch through the entire video or at least the section of the video that you require before following up because I found that in basically 100% of cases these are the issues that people are having. I'm recording this little intro extra because I realise that some people might be offended by the fact that I've just linked them through to this and I don't want to offend people but let's begin trying to fix your problems. I really dislike rambling tips and troubleshooting articles and videos and stuff that don't get to the point so let's get straight into it. You're here because you are dealing with blurry maps that you've purchased from my store. There's a few steps that you need to go through in order to get this fixed. Step zero before you do anything else. What device are you using? If you're on a PC, go down to the chapters, timestamps in the description below or the scrub bar at the bottom. Check the chapters for PC tips. If you're on a mobile phone or tablet, specifically iOS really for this, for reasons I'll explain below, check the chapters below for phone tips. Let's start off with the PC. Step one, make sure that your file is fully downloaded. They're quite large. Ensure it is fully downloaded before trying to open it. I know this sounds condescending. We know how to use PCs, etc, etc, etc. But that's been a legitimate issue from a couple of people in the last 12 months that have sent me a question saying, I can't get this map to open. It's like, well, have you let it fully download? There's at least one map that I've done that's 400 megabytes. It shouldn't take very long, but depends what your internet connection speed is so make sure the file is fully downloaded step two do not try and open the image files jpeg or png really in a web browser if that is your default app for opening jpegs or pngs change it please they're, they're not the best things to use for this windows 10 and windows 11 both have photos apps use those or something else most but not all apps that you can get for the opening of photos will open at least the jpegs they may struggle with the P struggle with the pngs if you've got a copy of photoshop or gimp or affinity design or photos or something that's actually specific specifically designed for working with photos obviously that is your software of choice unless you have got a lot of ram and a fairly recent generation CPU within the last two or three years, the maps were probably going to take a little time to open. They do on my machine, and I've got 64 gig of RAM and a 7950X Ryzen 9 processor. You're either going to get the circling ring of loading for a little while, or you'll get a blurry image for a chunk of time while the computer loads the higher resolution version of the map into memory. And there's nothing that you can do about this short of upgrading your computer. So make sure you are choosing the right file for your machine. If your machine is old, there's no shame in that. Just go for the JPEG or JPEG 50% version, which in older, older map packs is gonna be called the phone friendly version. I've stopped calling it that. I've started calling them JPEG 50% because they are, in most cases, 50% of the size. If there's a JPEG 25% or, or whatever percentage, that's usually there because people have struggled in some way shape or form to open it on their machines or their phones or whatever it's literally what they are there for as i said even on my machine sometimes maps can take a little while to go from blurry to clarity and just to illustrate that here's a real-time example of me loading the prince of persia map which is 143 megabytes 96,000 by 50,000 pixels with the legacy photos app in windows 11 which is the the photos app that you'll be using if you are using windows 10 because that's why it's the legacy app that's basically it for the pc it is unfortunately a hardware issue it comes down to the cpu power that you've got and the amount of ram that you've got to load large image files into use the jpeg 
or the JPEG 50% files and wait. They're just really big files. And if you are using a lower powered machine or a machine with lower specs, or you've only got the default four gigs as some kind of cheapo PCs that you can buy online or eight gigs, which let's be honest, eight gigs is the recommended amount of RAM just to run Windows. So if that's all you've got, if you've got a game open and you're trying to open a really hefty image file, then yeah, unfortunately it's gonna take a little bit of time the only thing that i could do about that is making an even smaller version of the map and then i'll get complaints about oh it's too small to read it's you can't read the font size and so on and so forth and then if i up the font size people say oh there's too much text covering everything you know i've been doing this for a few years now and what I'm doing is a result of a lot of feedback. It's not just because I think it looks good. It's because people have told me that certain things weren't usable before for the kind of things that they wanted them to do. So this is the balance that I've settled on. It is unfortunately what it is. If you are trying to open the JPEG 50% or smaller version of the map and you're still having problems, then yes, by all means, get in touch and I'll see what I can do but don't message me and expect to reply straight away the number of keeping in mind that i'm british and the number of emails that i get at a half three four o'clock in the morning and then get another email 30 minutes later saying why have you not replied i've bought this it's like because i'm asleep anyway moving on mobile phone I only have a solution for iOS because I only have an iPhone and I've been using iPhone since 2008. I don't have an Android phone. I don't have access to an Android phone, but I, I've got a, a, a number of iOS devices. So I don't know how the Android ecosystem works. The following steps definitely work for iOS because I can test them on my, my iPhone 13 Pro or whatever it is that I've got. Hopefully something like this will work for Android as well if you are having problems with Android. But I must confess that all of the questions that I've had about phones have come from iOS users. So it might just be an iPhone issue and Android might open things fine. I don't know. I'm going to talk you through the steps specifically for this one in terms of how to open the maps on your iPhone because it's not so much a case of the map being blurry is I just can't get it to open at all. Sometimes it's blurry, sometimes it's not. So I've got a guide and I'm going to put some pictures up as well. Step one, with your coffee receipt open, click on view content. So that's what it'll look like. Hit view content. It'll come up with a screen like this. Hit the download button for the JPEG or JPEG 50% or whatever versions of the file so this is the mobius machine pack you can see that there's a png clearly labeled as such this is your full resolution jpeg which is the exact same size as the png but for slightly less powerful hardware and then there's the jpeg 50 percent there's some maps with a 25 percent or a 15 percent depending on how big they are and what people were after this is likely to be your best bet for older phones but jpeg just 100% should also work okay. And they're both going to look absolutely fine on a mobile phone screen anyway, or a tablet screen, actually. Once you've done that, once you've made your choice, hit download and it'll come up with a little pop-up like this saying, do you want to download file name here? Do not hit view. It will crash your browser. You'll have to start over again, which means probably navigating back to where your receipt was. Hit download. That will kind of animate down and it'll fill up the little arrow at the bottom here. Once that's done, hit the arrow and hit the downloads option here. From the downloads menu, click the file. It'll look like this that you have just downloaded. This will open up a preview that looks like this. Again, don't try and zoom in. Don't try and use the preview to check anything it is opened in a browser it will crash your browser and send you back to the home screen most likely nine times out of ten sometimes it works don't don't bother this this way is better once you've done that then you want to click on either this little drop down icon in the top next to the file name or the share button down at the bottom 
either of these works either of them gives you the same option and from there if you click the top thing you can save to photos so do that or if you click the bottom thing hit save image why these have got two slightly different labels i don't know but they both work and they both do the same thing as far as i can tell save to photos is probably the easiest because it should save it in a really obvious place in the photos app on your phone i don't have a screenshot of me opening it with the from the photo screen because then you'll be able to see all the other random crap that i store in my photos folder and nobody wants that but because you are opening it in photos rather than a browser it's it's an app designed for opening large images it shouldn't crash crash it sh you should be able to zoom in as to your heart's content and that is how you open photos on your phone it will probably still take a second or five or ten potentially depending on which map you're looking at to load it fully into memory this is why i recommend the 50 percent or lower resolution for phones depends what device you are using but that should open absolutely fine i've tested it with multiple maps now in including the really big ones apart from the end of lily's map that will not open on your phones it barely opens on most pcs because it's 400 megabytes and it's a png and it, it it's huge and it takes about 30 seconds to open on my pc with a 4080 super and 64 gig of ram and a 7950x so it's it's a very specific use case you won't open it on your phone unless you've got some kind of futuristic device from like a thousand years into the future or, or something random but that is the help that i can offer you in terms of dealing with blurry maps on pc blurry maps or maps that just aren't opening on either device if you have gone through all of the steps depending on which device you are using and you are still having problems then yes by all means get in touch with me it is probably easier to get in touch with me on coffee.com rather than through email but either works just don't expect an instant message because this is not my job you know i do actually have a job and sometimes i'm asleep or playing games or making other maps or recording videos for youtube or so on and so forth i will of course try and help you get things sorted but try these steps first and don't be offended if i just link you to this video first of all because that's literally why i've put it together i hope this helps thank you for watching thank you for your purchase thank you for your support cheerio